Hi everyone! So I'm back to do a flip through of um, my planner and I did say on the video that it was my Himalayan salt but it's actually not. Um, when I was sorting through my planner stash to figure out which I wanted to sell I remembered about my, um, well my personal wide that's in here and I realised that I'd fallen in love with it and I hadn't used it for a while so I got that back out and moved back into it. Um, so I'll show you what that is in a minute but first I've got my little planner pouch that is from uh, Josephine Bow Designs she doesn't have the name ones at the moment on the Etsy shop I don't think uh, but she, I think I'm pretty sure that they are coming I know um, she did a poll on the group to see if people were interested in them and a lot of people were so I'm pretty sure that they're going to be coming at some point soon but this one is mine um, and you can see obviously it's holographic foil because that's that's just my favourite. It's beautiful. So this planner is my personal wide botanical. Whoops, we've dropped a clip. Uh, personal wide botanical rose, and it was actually. Let me just make sure that we're still on the camera. Yeah, it was actually a planner that I got in one of the Foxy Fix mystery sales. Um, so. Basically, if you don't know what that means, it's if you go on the Foxy Fix website at certain times of the year, I think they do maybe two or three through the year, they have what's called a mystery sale and you can choose your size of your planner that you want, but that's literally it. You can't choose any customizations, you can't choose um, pocket configuration, you can't choose if you want elastic or snap closure, you literally just get what you're given. So it's a bit like, um, <laughs> it's a, bit like a planner lottery, you just get what you get. Um, yeah, so I ordered this and it was the first ever mystery sale that I'd um, managed to take part in because because I'm based in the UK and obviously it's an American company, the mystery sales tend to happen like really late at night and I actually remembered to set an alarm to get up at 3 o'clock in the morning to buy this and so it was a bit of a risk. I think I would have been really disappointed if I'd have got something that I didn't want. Obviously, obviously I would. Um, but um, when I opened it and realised what it was, I felt like I'd won that planner lottery because this is just absolutely beautiful. This is a botanical rose, which I believe at the moment now is a discontinued leather and I don't know if it'll ever come back. So I feel even more chuffed that I got it. Um, it's got the blind embossed fox and pit bow on there, which is what I usually choose, but um, I usually choose it in a foiled colour. I usually choose it in rose gold or holographic. Um, and you can see on the back it's got the little mark if it's an item from a mystery sale you've got that little mark on the back there just to stop people from reselling them at full price I think so yeah I was really chuffed with that I'd always thought that before I got this one when I'd ordered my own foxes I've ordered a couple myself I'd always gone for the elastic closure and I thought that that was I mean I do still love an elastic closure and I think would I choose an elastic closure now I think it'd be a tough decision to choose to be honest because I opened this and I was absolutely chuffed with it really chuffed with the colour really chuffed with this well the size obviously I chose the size um, and I was like oh it's a snap closure is it going to be too is it like is it not going to close because I like to stuff my planners am I going to am I going to be able to live with it but actually I really love it and in fact I've ordered a planner from Naya Papery which is due for delivery on Monday and I actually ordered it with a snap closure so I think I think I love both closures now yeah so first of all I've got my ollie clip on the top I don't like big ollie clips I always choose a mini one even though I've got quite a big planner I just think the mini ones are cute and I like this one I'm not sure of the name of it it's like a pastel rainbow it's really pretty um so this is my everything planner this is my catch all planner it, it has a bit of everything in it obviously um i don't carry it around with me it just stays at home in my little planner cart and i reach for it maybe three or four times a week and fill it in decorate it mess about in it you know what it's like so in my front pockets i've got a piece of acid, a piece of vellum that i laminated from diamond print designs and i just put that in the back oops what's that i just put that in the back for a bit of sturdiness then on top of that, I've got a Simply Gilded washi card, which is really beautiful. Uh, sorry, a journaling card, not a washi card. There's my washi card. That, I can't remember where I got that from. I don't know if I bought it 
or if I was sent it in Happy Mail. And I don't know which collection of Simply Gilded wash it is either. Sorry, I'm a bit rubbish with... I'm not a Simply Gilded expert. I don't know the names of all the washes or anything like that. So then in the front, we've got uh, Sabrina. She's the girl from Planter Stitch Planner, who I've got her a couple of times through my planner. I, I quite like her. I've got my sampler. Is this my current sampler? This is my current sampler from Paper K. Paper K at the moment is um, closed, but she's due to reopen on the 1st of August. This is my sampler um, that you would get if you'd ordered when she was open at the beginning of the month. I'll pop all my discount codes in the um, in the description box below. This is just a Starbucks cup. I don't know where I got that from, sorry. And then I've got one of those girls, again, from the Powder World. You might have seen yesterday, if you saw my planner flip of my friend's planner, there was one in there as well. I think I must have just bought a big, a big bag of them. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, so I've got one of those um, sheets of acetate there with like a, a name it's printed on it it's not a sticker i don't think it feels very very smooth it doesn't feel like a sticker that's from madison fox plans and then sorry i'm just making sure i'm still on the camera there we go underneath that i've got a jelly dashboard i just bought some of this jelly from ebay it was a pound it was one of those that comes from like china or wherever and it takes absolutely ages but it was a pound and there was enough to make two of them and it was free postage so they had quite a few colours. If you just literally search, what did I search? Did I search jelly paper? I think I searched jelly paper and eventually it came up. And then I printed this on vellum. This is just a digital from Willa Walla Co. I don't think she's doing these at the moment. I think um, I think they're done now. But yeah, you just bought it, paid for your name and decided what colour hair and skin colour you wanted your little girl to have. Then I've got a Simply Gilded washi dashboard and uh, that is with the washi from the rainbow kit i think i don't think it was the anniversary kit i think it came out at the same time as the anniversary kit but i think it was a rainbow kit on the back i've got some paper from tickle pink planning i've got a die cut from josephine bow designs i've got the most beautiful washi card from josephine bow designs have a look at that the gpr for them i'll leave the code in the box below and then i've got uh, some happy scrappy date covers and some notes from that um, box that the rainbow washi came in. Then I've got some vellum from Fab Planner Print. That's from Planter Stitch Planning. That's my little girl. My dividers are from their top loading dashboards. Um, yeah, and they're from Princess Honey on Etsy. But I don't think her Etsy shop is open at the moment. But I'm hoping that she opens again because I would like to get another set in a different colour. I was thinking maybe um, maybe white glitter ones would be quite nice to go with my Naya that I've got coming on Monday. So on the back of here, and you'll remember if you watched my other video that I did a similar thing like this in my friend's planner because this is what I always do in mine. I've just got some random sticky notes from the Happy Planner stuck on there. And then if anything comes up and I haven't got time to neatly write it in my planner, I'll just quickly scribble it on there. And then I will just, I haven't got any done at the moment, but I'll just stick it on the blank month. And then when I go back to set the month up, I can write it in neatly. So that just helps me to um, remember what I've got going on. This is from the Happy Scrappy Box. There's a journaling card from Hello Cutie Studios. And then these are my monthlies. I don't pretty them up too much I just put a bit of wash at the bottom sometimes I put a little sticker there I don't actually like what I did this month I don't know why I did that because it doesn't go together very well but I've left it it's fine it's fine we'll do better next month I'm not I don't I just do the month as I go along I don't do the whole thing <clears throat> then I made a confetti dashboard I just sprinkled some glitter inside some laminating paper and I just laminated it and it worked out really well. I've got some holographic constellation vellum from Madison Fox Plans, journaling card from Harriet Wright Designs that I bought in a D-stash and then this is card paper from the front of a Happy Scrappy insert. More, oh look at that, that's so beautiful. Uh, more vellum from Madison Fox Plans on Etsy. Um, and then I've got my weeklies, and my weeklies are from Jacinia's Printables. It's a week on four pages. That's what the blank ones look like. I've not done this week yet because what I found myself doing is I plan as I go along in my Hobonichi 
and then I'm coming back to this and planning back planning the week of this so it's turned into a little bit of memory planning it, it started off as just planning as I was going before I had the Hobonichi and then I got that and fell in love with it so I've ended up doing it like this but I still think it's nice to have this and to keep it um, I've got a big box full of my old inserts and I'm going to put them together with those I don't know what they're called those like string things that you have metal on the end you know what I mean um yeah and I'm going to keep those so I've just got a month's worth of those in here. I switch between um, Jacinia's Principles inserts. It's usually always from Jacinia's, but she has a couple of different types. And I just flick between the different ones, depending on what I feel like. So this was a pocket that came in a Happy Scrappy Sub box. And it just happened to be the perfect size for a uh, personal wide. So I punched it and I've popped it in. And inside I've got the ticket from a recent take that concert that I went to because it was just amazing and I just want to keep it and remember it at the top I've got a clip from Dotty Moo Planner on is it Dotty Moo Planner or Dotty Moo Designs if you search Dotty Moo on Etsy she'll come up I'm sure and that's where all my little danglies at the bottom are I'll go through those in a bit then we've got some more paper from a happy scrappy sub box then a Catspresso dashboard with some Fila Fabulous stickers and Madison Fox, no, um, Isabel the Owl, sorry, an Isabel the Owl die cut and a Planter Stitch planning die cut. And then on this side, I've got some Happy Scrappy paper and that is Sabrina again, the girl from Planter Stitch planning. And um, I just love this. This has come with me in my planner for like the last six times that I've moved. I just... I just love it. I just want to take it with me every time. It's just my favourite place in my planner, I think. Um, this is from a Happy Scrappy Sub Box. I love getting the vellums in there. Then I've just got another dashboard with my family in it. Some Simply Gilded Washi. That was from Happy Scrappy. And then some Toffee Bananas stickers. This is from Fab Planner Print. And I do PR for Fab Planner Print as well. So I'll leave their code down below. Um, and then I made this little dashboard without pockets on it this one with some happy scrappy paper that's my very first sampler that i got from um paper k when i started working with them i'm a bit weird i keep all of my samplers that are, that are my samplers that are like people get if they order and i lam <laughs> laminate them when i keep them because i don't know i just think they're a nice little memory i don't know i just like them i don't know if that's silly or if that's sentimental or what but it's what i do so this at the top here says adulting is hard let's be mermaid and this was actually from a birthday card last year that my friend sent me my best friend and I didn't want to get rid of it but I'm not a big fan of keeping cards I just think it's it's clutter and I'm not I am sentimental but I don't keep absolutely everything but I just and I liked that so I cut it out and laminated it and I thought I could put it in my planner and it was a good way of keeping it and knowing that that was from my friend um, this is from Planter Stitch Planning. It's a bit wintry really, but I like it. It goes with the, the colours go with the paper at the back. Then I made another dashboard with Simply Gilded Washi and we've got a Blossom Nose Co bookmark on there and the colours just went really well, so I popped it on. Then I've got some of my favourite ever Happy Scrappy paper. I'll show it you a bit further through because I've got a piece that's plain that's not got anything on it. And then I've got in here, um, there is another one of my samplers from Paper K. That's one of her samples that she sends out monthly. But I just love the little teddies. They're so cute and I just like to keep them. And then I've got some of my favourite page flags from Josephine Bow Designs. And I just thought that it made a nice a nice little back in. Look at that. Look at the foiling on that. It's beautiful. So it, I just thought it made a nice little background for these. So I popped it in there with those. Then I made another confetti dashboard. And this time I used like rose gold hearts. Some more vellum from Happy Scrappy. I printed off some daily inserts from Jacinia's Principles. Whoops. But I haven't yet used them. I'm hoping to use them for daily journaling. And I might even put them in a different planner and do a whole other setup um, for it. But as yet, I've not had the time to use them. So I do keep them in here just in case the urge comes over me to do a bit of daily journaling. But as of yet, I've not used them. Then I've just got some standard dailies that I do use, but I don't keep them after I've used them. I just get rid of them. I don't keep them in my planner. And then there's a different style of daily from Annie Plans Printables. Again, I just see what I feel like using. Once I've done all the to-dos on that list, it just goes in the bin. I don't keep it in my planner. 
So then we've got some um, acetate from Catspresso and I absolutely love the acetate from Catspresso. It's so thick. It's just, it's not that like thin. I just don't like that thin acetate that you can get. It's really thick, really sturdy and it's lovely. It'd be good to put a pocket on, I think. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then I made a bookmark from Happy Scrappy Stickers. There's a dot from Paper K. Sticker there from um, a die cut, sorry, not a sticker, from Planter Stitch Planning with some happy scrappy paper on the back. And then we've got Sabrina again from Planter Stitch Planning and I just thought her hair, there was a bit of a galaxy vibe going on so she went with this galaxy paper from a happy scrappy sub box. Then I've got some acetate from Madison Fox again, just some star holographic. And then this is a digital that artsy is it artsy by natty i'm going to link her down below she um sent me a message and asked me if i'd like one of the digitals from her shop to do whatever i wanted with um would i like to try one so i said yes of course i would because i thought i would print it on vellum and i'm actually going to send it you know you can send them to vista print and get a mug made or any of the photograph places and get a mug made i'm going to do that as well but i think I think she's called Arts by Natty, I think, but I will link her down below because she does some, uh, I just thought that was funny because that is my life to an absolute T. That is just <laughs> from the minute I get up in the morning, mom, 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 and I was like, oh, I have to have that one. It's that one. That's the one I need. So yeah, then I've got this printable from Peanuts Planner Co and it's a fold out um, monthly tracker. And I just like to decorate it a little bit. And I've got some more things that I want to put on the bottom of here. I've, I've decided that there's some more things that I want to track. So next month will be fuller than this. But yeah, I enjoy using that and having them all to look back on um, at the end of the year. Then we've got some more vellum from Happy Scrappy. That's where most of my vellum comes from because I love that subscription box. I, I don't think I'll ever cancel getting my Happy Scrappy so but you get so much in the box for the money. It's about $25, I think. You don't get customs on it and um i don't think there's ever been a box that i don't like i don't think i've ever had one that i've not liked and it, it literally fills all of my planner and they come in the cutest little envelopes that are decorated as well it's just so cute so we've got some more catspresso vellum here uh, acetate here nice and thick again and we've got a die cut from blossom nose co and then this is the business card from hello petite paper with some clips on the side that were very kindly sent to me by princess honey and I found that initial off a bracelet or something, I think, and I just popped it on. So I've covered this page up because this has got all, like, account numbers on for, like, the gas and electric and boring things like that. And obviously I can't show those on screen. Same on the back. Another one of those name vinyl um, acetates from Madison Fox Plans. Absolutely beautiful. Some vellum from Powder World. I did an order with them and I'm not sure where they're based. They might be based in Germany, I think. Or am I making that up? They're definitely not based in the UK. So I ordered from them and I expected it to take a little while, but actually I had it within the week. It was like so quick, I couldn't believe it. Um, so I've got a clip here from, um, I bought it in a D stash, but I believe it's from Simply Gilded. Then I made a dashboard with the papers from Happy Scrappy with this little vinyl guy from Happy Scrappy. I think it's meant to be, um, is it boba? I don't drink boba, but I believe that's what it's meant to be. <laughs> I don't even know what boba is if I'm completely honest with you. Um, so then we've got the back of that with a Happy Scrappy pocket with a die cut from Paper K. She didn't sell these, but she very kindly made it for me and I love it. It's so super cute. Then we've got a Blossom Nose Co bookmark. This little girl is from, I believe her name is Lolita, but I could be wrong. Or is it Lola? Anyway, she's from Kina Prince. And I've got her in a die cut like that. I've got her in a bookmark that's in my Hobonichi and also in a pencil board as well. I think she's really sweet. And then I've got this printable from the Fox and Pip and I just printed it on vellum. I sized it down and printed it on ve vellum. That worked out really nicely. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. I don't know. <laughs> Something's tickling my throat and I don't know what it is. Um, then I've got this journaling card, which was from a planner face order, and I just popped some Simply Gilded, wash, gilded Washi on it to make it look a bit cuter. 
Then we've got another card there. I can't remember where that's from, sorry. Then another confetti dashboard that I made. And then this is that paper that I was talking about from Happy Scrappy. It's just my favourite ever Happy Scrappy paper that she's done. And I've run out now. So if I find any on eBay or on a D stash or anything, I'm going to run to get it because, yeah, I love it. And that is um, once more with Love Paper. And I was just waiting for some holographic pockets to come from Happy Scrappy to stick on so I can make them into functional dashboards. But I do just like having them in to look at because they're really pretty papers. So I've got some vellum here from the Happy Scrappy Sub Box. This is a printable from Pristine Planners, I think. Or is it printables for planners? I'll link them down below because I find this really useful. I just track my social media growth on it. A journaling card from Hello Petite Paper. And then we've got some vellum from uh, Once More With Love. Just got some printables that I use if I need to um, plan any posts, if I've got any sponsored posts for Instagram, mainly for my beauty blog, not really for my planner Instagram. And then this is from Isabel the Owl. It came in the sub box that that uh, die cut from before came. This section here is my PR section because I do PR for three shops. I PR for Josephine Bow Designs, a fab planner print and Paper K. Um, and that's just got the details of my personal PR codes and when um, they'd like me to post or what sales we've got coming up, just things like that. But obviously I can't show you that, but I just use um, random note paper for that any really. The one that I'd used on this side was out of um, a Happy Scrappy sub box. So we've got some more of that acetate from Madison Fox Plans. It's just beautiful, really, really beautiful. And then this was a printable from Jacinia's Printables and I just sized it down and popped it on some vellum again. I really enjoy um, printing on vellum. I didn't realise that it was just so easy. You literally just print on vellum. Um, but if you do print on it, you need to leave it out for a little bit. Don't try and cut it and put it in your planner straight away because it doesn't dry as quick as it does on normal paper. So if you are going to print on vellum, then I would definitely recommend maybe leaving it on the side for 24 hours and then going back to it and you should be good to go. Um, I've got some more uh, samplers here from Josephine Bow Designs. That's my sampler that you would have got the first seven months that I PR'd for her, which I believe was January. Seems like so long ago now. And then she always sends out one of these awesome samplers every month and the, the, the um, they match up with like whatever the month it is. So February's was pink because obviously Valentine's Day, March's was like nice spring colours. So I love her samplers. They're always really nice. Then we've got a die cut from Plant to Stitch Planning with some Phyla Fabulous Galaxy coffee stickers and some more of that Galaxy paper from the Happy Scrappy box. My shop code insert is from Annie Plans. I can show you the back page because they're not private codes on there. It just looks like that. And I just, if I find um, a discount code online, I just jot it in for whenever I fancy making an order with that shop. Um, so I enjoy that insert. I've got some more of that paper from Happy Scrappy. <clears throat> I've got some more of the Cat Espresso dashboard. And then I've got another one of those confetti dashboards that I made. Then this is a Foxy Fix dashboard. It's one that's got the two pockets, one at the bottom, one at the top. Um, it's got two pictures of my dogs. That's Dexter and that's Effie. And I love them to pieces. They are amazing. And on the back, I just slip in rewards cards for um, mainly sticker shops. I just pop those in there so I know where they are. Some more of that uh, Fab Planner print vellum there. And then this insert um, sorry, this section is for my box swap. So I'm in a group on Facebook and we do international box swaps. So they will send um, bits and pieces from America that I can't get hold of and I'll send them bits and pieces from the UK that they can't get hold of, that type of thing. Um, but I'm not going to show you that because it's got people's names on the inside. It literally is just a list of people's names that I've swapped with before so that I know who's a safe swapper and not a scammer because I, I, I only swap with people that I know that I've swapped with before. Then we've got, we are out on that side yet, some more of that vellum from Fab Planner Print. This is from Hello Petite Paper. This was a um, sticky note from a Simply Gilded box and I just laminated it to make a die cut. Clip from eBay. And then the last section, some more of that paper that I'd love. It's just my favourite. It's just my absolute favourite paper from Happy Scrappy. I just love it. 
Um, another Dot the Bear from um, Paper K. This was a die cut that she gave out in last month's orders, I believe. And then the last bit, I just have some random bits of note paper, all different kinds, just in case I need to make a note and I can just decide what paper I want to use. So it just depends what mood we're in, doesn't it, what paper we pick. So, yeah, and then lastly, some more of that Harry Potter vellum from Madison Fox Plans. I've got the page lifter. And then I've just got some receipts from the post office, post office in the back there from a recent D stash that I sent off, just in case I need the proof of postage. This guy is off of one of the envelopes from a Happy Scrappy order, and he was too nice to put in the bin, so I cut him out and made a die cut with him. I have got a journaling card here from Hello Petite Paper, double-sided one. And then, um, let me just see what's under that. I'm just going to cover that because I don't want you to see that private letter there at the back. <clears throat> I made a vellum pocket and inside I just popped loads and loads of samplers because I had them all in um, my sticker storage but I had them in like a section at the back and I just wasn't ever using them they were just sitting there and sitting there not getting used and it was a shame so I thought if I put them in a vellum pocket inside my planner then there's every chance that I'll pick them up more often and then the last clip that fell off when I opened it up was from Dotty Moo Shop as well so I'll just close this up and show you the um, bookmarks at the bottom. They're all from Dotty Moo Shop. This one is like, I think, I believe it's called Tails, where you just hook it over the last hook at the bottom. And then this one is like a proper TM bookmark. Whoops, that goes with that bit there. There we go. That's got my initial on it. And then the last one is this one, which has got a pretty sort of parve set heart on it with the um i hope you can see that with another little monkey knotted ball so that is my beautiful planner i was so lucky to get her um i will definitely take part in another foxy fix uh mystery sale if i can remember to get up in time or if they have one that's true in the uk daytime maybe um but yeah that's it for now Thanks for watching and for those of you that have watched and subscribed, thank you so much. It's so sweet of you. I don't really know why anyone watches my videos because there are definitely better ones on YouTube. But it's very much appreciated and I'll see you again soon.